Nick Kyrgios is scheduled to meet Chilean opponent Christian Garin here at the All England Club later on tonight, Australian time. But this news has certainly sent a jolt through the tournament. The 27-year-old has been summoned to appear in court in the ACT where he'll face an assault charge. It relates to an alleged incident in December last year and a lawyer representing Kyrgios is quoted as saying it happened in the context of a domestic relationship. He and his former girlfriend Kiara Pasari broke up last year but the details of the assault allegation are not known and Kyrgios didn't have much to say about it today either. Sorry. Nick, do you have any Sorry. comments on the allegations? Sorry, mate. I think it finishes. Do you have any comment to make, Nick, on the allegations? I feel like I'm in the last dance. Now, to say this tournament has been eventful for Nick Kyrgios would be an understatement. His behaviour on and off court has been under great scrutiny. Earlier in the tournament, he complained about a so-called old man line judge and admitted spitting in the direction of an abusive spectator. Of, of one of the people disrespecting me, yep. yes. So that was deliberate to show Yes, you. I would not be doing that to someone who was supporting me. He's clashed with the media during some press conferences and accused people of trying to tear him down. I'm really good and I feel like I just don't have the respect sometimes. He's also played some really thrilling matches, including a hard-fought win over Stefanos Tsitsipas. During that encounter, he blew up when he believed his opponent got off lightly for hitting a ball into the crowd. Hit a ball into the crowd, hit someone and not get defaulted. Are you dumb? So now he classifies to be hurt. You're a disgrace. He's got some serious issues. Like, serious. I'm good in the locker room. I've got, I got many friends, like, just to let you know. I'm actually one of the most liked. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm set. Kyrgios has been fined tens of thousands of dollars for his behaviour here, but this has been one of the most successful major tournament campaigns he's had in years. Regardless of what happens here, though, he will be returning to Australia to formally answer what is a very serious allegation.